Hi, I'm Bodo, and today I'll be talking about the Infiltrator. I'll be going over all three factions, TR, NC, and Vanu, giving you weapons that I recommend. This Infiltrator that I'll be talking to you about is squad-based Infiltrator, working with a point hold team, uh, working with a large group to take objectives and hold down an objective. objective. Uh, this play style that I'm experienced with and I'm going to be talking to you about um, will be the main topic of this infiltrator guide uh, in terms of uh, being a stalker cloak knifing bolter uh, sniping uh, this is stuff I have some experience with but uh, I won't be talking about that in this video because it will require a one hour video instead of hopefully a 15 minute video so I hope you guys enjoy the guide and you'll learn a lot from my experience and these loadouts so for the weapons, these are going to be more close range to medium range style weapons. Uh, since I'll be talking about the infiltrator in squad and point hold scenarios, uh, these will be things that favor them, weapons that favor them. So for the TR, I highly recommend the Armstice. The Armstice is a very good SMG, very competitive SMG uh, for the TR infiltrators. Um, and if you want to use something different, you could also use the SOAS 20. It's a very good uh, scout rifle. It's a fully automatic scout rifle. It's very good at medium range. It has a very good accuracy, good, very good fire rate to uh, damage ratio. But in terms of like the number one spot to be the most competitive for aiming for the head, I highly recommend the Armsys. It's a very good weapon to use. For the NC, the weapons that I recommend is the Cyclone, the Blitz, and the Stalker. These three weapons are very good at close quarters and they have respectable damage to them as well. The Cyclone, I recommend in first place, some gun you should really strive to unlock and use. Uh, it's very, very good. It's kind of considered the king of SMGs. Very good damage, very good fire rate. Uh, especially if you put on soft point ammunition, uh, you can turn this gun into a three shot headshot machine within the first 10 meters. Uh, it's a very good all around SMG. Blitz, extra ammunition, higher fire rate, still is good the stalker very accurate for medium ranges uh and it's very very reliable uh weapon to use as well for the vs i recommend the canis uh, another weapon that i also recommend is the artemis but for the canis it's a very good damage and fire rate the cool thing about this weapon the more you hold down on the trigger and continuously firing uh your fire rate will increase over time this damage profile for this SMG allows it to have a three shot headshot within the first 10 meters, kind of like the Cyclone. It's a very good SMG and feels really good too to uh, land headshots. Now the Artemis is a scout rifle. It's fully automatic, very good and accurate for medium range engagements. I do recommend the Artemis uh, if you want to play a little bit longer in terms of uh, ranges. Uh, overall, these are kind of the weapons that uh, I consider for all three factions. Uh, a really good close range, a really good medium range. We're going for headshots, fully automatic. This is what uh, you kind of need to play that close quarter squad play uh, and really play with a team, especially on point. Onto the loadout. Now, keep in mind, this is about team play, more CQC, and helping out your allies. Uh, we're trying to work together as a team uh, with this loadout, survive, deal damage, and also give utility to our team. What I recommend for a secondary, as I recommend with other uh, guys that I've done, is the underboss. Spammable, reliable. It's a very good, oh crap, weapon. Pull it out, do your thing. Motion spotter for your tool. I highly recommend just use the motion spotter. You can use the recon detection device, but place that on the motion spotter, stays up for a very long time. You may use two for attack or defense. You may have to use more than two uh, just because uh, they could be blown up easily by nades. Now, in terms of like why this is better, this uh, usually, it stays in one room and it has a very large radius, and it's large enough to cover most buildings in this game. And essentially, when people get close enough, it goes from that, like, dot, and it's like a pulse 1.5 second. It goes from just, like, a dot moving to, like, a complete live feed. So within 20 meters of where this is placed, uh, you get a complete live feed of your enemy. You get an arrow direction so you can see which way they're facing, and you can see them moving every every single second that they're moving. So it's a very good uh, tool to use for the infiltrator. And you'd be very surprised how many people don't even use their detection devices. For the ability, I recommend the ammo cloaking. 
extra shield health, uh, extra damage reduction, uh, reduction uh, when once you have this activated, not when you're just running around. You need to activate it to get that extra damage reduction. <laughs> Very good, helps you survive. Uh, and it pairs well with using Grenade Bandolier because they're not running things like Nano Weave. Uh, <laughs> it gives us that needed survivability. Uh, grenade Bandolier, obviously, so you have more nades, and the nades that we're using are EMP grenades. Now, EMP nades are very, very good. It disables devices when you throw at them, instantly blows them up. But on top of that, it completely strips enemies of shields. So in Plant Side 2, almost every class has 500 health, 500 shields. Unless they're using certain implants, they can modify it so that they have 900 shields or 1,000 effective health. Um, most players don't run them. So EMP nades are just super powerful because you throw it and people already have uh, half effective EHP. Um, now, this is what we want to use when we're breaching. This is what we want to throw when you see a large cluster of enemies uh, rushing. Um, hitting one or two people isn't really worth it. Hitting multiple players, uh, especially if it's like, you know, oh crap situation will help tip the tides to you obviously to finish off people and to win uh, but it assists your allies because obviously they're there with you and they can also shoot at the people who got hit with the mp nade so the mp nades are very very powerful and it's the infiltrator's responsibility to use them wisely you know you don't want to just chuck these in it's not going to flat out kill people it just gives you advantage when you go into the fight or if you're defending the fight you have to use these wisely and also on top of that these are impact nades so once you throw it there's like a slight second where it will bounce off the ground but as soon as it hits something it instantly goes off and be careful because this will affect your friendlies as well not just your enemies so it is possible to not only strip your enemy shields but your friendly shields so placement and and just being able to arc it properly so that it hits the uh, enemies and not your allies is is very key med kit keep yourself alive do whatever you have to do just pop it in hop around hop around a corner pop it in uh pop in a med kit then re-pop another med kit and like med kit tanking um <laughs> just do whatever you can to stay alive uh especially if you have emp nades to use so you can help your team out speaking of staying alive assimilate helps survivability you kill someone you get 200 shields back instantly uh in terms of your uh ability energy it does help get your energy back so you can use nano armor cloaking uh more uh but in terms of like combat it's either you're shooting or you're cloaked now it's kind of a benefit it's not really negligible uh for infiltrator uh really the simulate what you're really getting off of it is the 200 uh, shield restore on a headshot kill. Now, safeguard is another implant I recommend, especially if you're playing on point and you're defending. As soon as you get rezzed, uh, you want to make sure you have this on you. You, you have a straight up advantage versus most players uh, with the 20% damage reduction. On top of that, you get 200, 200 extra shields from that res. And most likely, the reses that you're going to get are resonades. So uh, that 200 shield <laughs> really helps a lot because resonades only bring you to half health, and that's 250 effective EHP. So having safeguard uh, really helps out. If someone's like just full resin you from a tool, you'll have that 500 health, obviously, plus 200 shields. So safeguard is actually very strong. And the cool thing about safeguard is that that damage reduction does stack with your uh, nano armor cloaking. So you can effectively, <laughs> effectively have 55% damage reduction uh, from small arms damage because nano weave only works against small arms damage. The damage reduction that you get from Safeguard is from everything. So <laughs> it's really cool and uh, funny to use, especially when you, you throw on uh, Nano Armor Coking because it's just like a tank. It's hilarious. Um, now, tactical slots is up to you. Canopy is very good. Uh, I recommend a lot of people to use Ordnance Dampeners, but keep in mind, in a squad play, you're there to assist your allies. You want to have a good mixture of Ordnance Dampeners to Canopies. But Ordnance Dampeners, I, I just highly recommend. You just should be using them, especially if you don't know if other people are using them. Just have these on by default. But Canopy is also another very good item to use. 
in terms of the knife, Ripper, obviously, you got the power knife. You have the ability to go uh, cloak, go stealth, and you could rush enemies very easily and just start chain ki killing people uh, with the knife. Very good tool. Uh, I don't recommend it. That This should be like a very niche you know, circumstance I would even use this. Now onto this style of the loadout, uh, if you want to help out your squad and teammates. Uh, this kind of style requ requires you on playing with your team right off the bat to set up and then kind of run out and help your team out, teammates out by completing certain objectives. Uh, now for this, obviously we have motion spotter, you place it down for your team, make sure you're getting some good use out of it. Tactical, uh, doesn't matter if you have your hard light canopy or your ordnance stamina, place it down right off the start where your team lands, get some use out of it. Uh, and then your second priority for this sort of loadout should be hacking a vehicle terminal, hacking uh, anti-air turrets, anti-vehicle turrets, whatever you have to be to be a nuisance. Uh, now we're using Hunter Cloak because we need A, the extra duration of invisibility, and it's a very good invisibility to like run around and go hack stuff. Uh, it also has a really fast recharge rate. Nano weave, so you get that damage reduction if we do have to fight someone on our way to the vehicle terminal or a uh, turret. You can be a little bit more competitive. Uh, the suppressor from your primary should keep you off the map, and this will help you stay alive. EMP nades, I recommend if you're going to go hack a vehicle, and let's say there's like a heavy in your way, throw the EMP nade on it. It splits her. It takes all their shields off. Uh, it's only 500 damage plus their over shield, and you can easily hose them down with your uh, SMG. Uh, med kits, keep yourself alive. I recommend just using med kits and not the rest of kits because the rest of kits you'll bl you'll be bright green and if you're trying to hack a vehicle turtle that doesn't really help you. Um, athlete, good acceleration deceleration. You can bob and weave way much more effective. But on top of that, uh, if you keep running for six seconds, like as maintain a run speed of six seconds, anything after that you get a ten percent increase to your movement speed, so you'll run faster. Sensor shield, this will keep you off most detection devices. If you get close to a detection device, uh, recon dart or uh, enemy motion sensor, if you get within 10 meters of it, uh, you will still show up. Uh, the way to avoid that is that you just slow right down to a walk and then they won't see you. But essentially with sensor shield, you can just like run straight to a uh, vehicle terminal and no one will see you. And that's essentially um, another way of supporting your squad and your teammate by getting down on the point first, making sure you have radar set up set up for them, have an ordnance standard set up with them, then go to your tasks of securing a sunder by hacking a vehicle terminal or just hacking vehicle terminals to be a nuisance. It doesn't matter if it's air, doesn't matter if it's a AA turret, if it's a uh, anti-vehicle turret, uh, this is a setup that will really help you. And even doing those sort of side objectives things from like the main point is still contributing to your team. So thank you for uh, watching my infiltrator guide. Uh, now in the future, I'll be doing more guides. I'll be talking about more different things in terms of like plant size specific mechanics, map reading, uh, all the way to like getting better aim and uh, how to get better positioning and talking about like certain buildings, how to play them and stuff like that. Uh, if you really liked it, let me know in the comment, uh, what's your style of infiltrator? Cause there's so like, so many play styles of infiltrator this is just one specific style that i want to talk about uh in terms of like something i don't really see a lot of people do and a lot i i personally prefer this playing this play style of infiltrator there's a lot of people like to play infiltrator like as a sniper as just like a cqc bolter um as like a full-on knifer uh there's some really cool like vampire builds you can make with carapace and like you know just constantly heal yourself and stuff like that like there's so many ways you can play the infiltrator so let me know uh what's your favorite what's your favorite way of playing the infiltrator because there's it's just so many it's it's a really fun class to play uh you guys have a nice day hopefully you know once the new year comes around i'll see you, everybody back on plant side grinding out those alerts and uh, <laughs> uh maybe i'll see you in my kill feed and have a very 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 happy new year happy holidays hope you had a very good merry christmas